Hello everyone, um, welcome in that tutorial. So, so as uh, you know, um, a few weeks ago we we started we have started um, a, a program, an internship with some uh, uh, students and, and Microsoft the Garage, and and maybe you have seen some of my posts on, on Facebook, where basically we were building a mobile application, which was a capable to um, take a picture of a given tool and do a, a tool recognition and tell uh, which tool is it. Um, so the way they have done it, I'm going to share with you how to build uh, such a feature to recognize uh, a tool, to train a model with some given tool and then to try to recognize such a tool. So if you're interested, please uh, watch that video with, uh, and you're going you're gonna to learn how to do that yourself. Uh, we're going to demystify this and, and you're going to see that it is very, very simple. Um, so the first thing we need to do, uh, we're going to use the custom vision API, the custom vision features that is uh, uh, part of the Azure uh, platform. So the first thing to do is to look for custom vision. Um, and you just have to, to search on Google custom vision and then you go on custom vision here, which is uh, uh, on Microsoft Azure. Uh, you just have to click on get started. Um, and then you're going to be on, on that uh, website, so customvision.ai. Uh, so you just have to sign in, just to use your SBD credential, I mean, um, your SBD um, uh, email address, um, and then you should be able to log into that, pla to that platform. Um, so the first thing we need to do, um, we're going to create a new project here. Uh, we're going to Call that simple tool recognition. Recognition. Okay. I'm going to put the same description. It's going to be a classification, um, and and then we can go um, with a generic model like this. So I just click create project, um, and that's it. So the first thing we need to do in order to train the model is to add images, right? So I'm going to add some images. Um, so I have some pictures and I'm going to, I have some pictures from that tool, which is a, a DCD996. So I'm going to select all those pictures and I'm going to load this. And the only thing you have to do basically, um, is to put a, a tag on this. Okay. So it's going to load and preview. So that's why it's a little bit slow. So I, I have uh, uh, 38 images from that tool. So what I try to do is to take a picture from that tool by myself using my mobile phone uh, from different angles with different background. Obviously, it's not very good. Um, if you want to have a, uh, a very good result, you can do it in a more professional way. Uh, what we are thinking with the students now, we, we get in touch with the CAD team to generate virtual images instead of taking pictures, which will be much better. So here, uh, you just have to put the label. So it's a DCD. 996, as I said, um, and then you just click Upload. Um, so it's going to upload all the, the pictures of that tool. Uh, it shouldn't be uh, too long. Um, so you have a limitation of 6 uh, megabytes uh, per images, uh, per image, um, which is not too bad. Um, so we do th we, we're going to do that for this tool, so the 996. Um, and we're going to do that for another tool. So just to, have to train the model with two tools, right? But uh, obviously we need to, if you want to recognize all the 10,000 uh, SKU of Stanley Black & Decker, then you have to do that for every single uh, tool. So I have this, so DCD996, we are good. I'm going to do the same uh, with another tool. Um, I have some pictures from uh, a DCF uh, impact driver. So DCF887, so I'm going to do the same things. I'm going to open, I'm going to load all those pictures. So it takes some time because it is going to preview. So I have only 32 images in that, in that case for that tool. So let's wait a few seconds here. And then I, I, it will be possible to add a tag. Okay, it shouldn't be long. And then we're going to upload um, 
those files. So I said D. Okay, it's a little bit slow. DCF. Okay, DCF eight eight seven. Okay, and then I click upload. So it's going to upload all those. Uh, sorry to uh, images and then you're going to see that it's going to be very we are almost done so that's that that is what is crazy um how simple it is to, to do that um so the most difficult thing is really to get the data so you need to take a bunch of pictures thousands of pictures of the tool so different angle different lightning different background but once you have the data it is very straightforward to to use that technology so so i have my two tools okay so now I'm going to uh, train the model. So you just have to click on the train button here. I'm going to go fast training, but, but if you want, you, go, you can do an advanced training. You can say, OK, how many hours do you want the model to be trained? And it will in increase the performances of the, of, of the training because it will train and train again until you get a very high success full rate. But for now, I'm going to just do a, a fast training. And I'm going to click on train, and you're going to see it's going to go very fast. Uh, within a few seconds, um, the the model is is built. Uh, it's a it's a deep neural network uh, on the back on the back end. Um, so I'm done. So now, uh, if I want to call that model, uh, I can publish that model through an API. So or, or maybe before doing that, just if I want to just to play with the model myself, I can do a quick test here. Uh, so basically, I can go on the prediction tab and then I, I can click on quick test I can do that from here as well so if you click on test um, you can test your model so you just have to to load a file a, a photo uh, so I have I have a picture that I didn't uh, use for the training so it's just for testing purposes here so I'm gonna uh, open this uh, uh, this one and then you see the tool and then the system will will um, Will, will give me the prediction. So now it, it is trying to recognize, and then you can see the prediction. So the prediction, he said, oh, I'm, I'm fairly confident, so 95% sure that this tool is, a, is a, a, an impact driver, so DCF887, which is the case, actually. And then he can give me also the prediction for the 996, which is 4%. So probably it's not a, a 996, right? Um, so it, it does work, right? Um, and now if I want to, um, to integrate uh, that features uh, into my mobile application, then I can expose that model. So it's a machine learning algorithm here to, do rec to, to recognize. Uh, I can export in TensorFlow. I can, there is a bunch of export format. Uh, but if I just want to call the model from an API, you can do that in a very easy way. So you just have to go to Performances tag. And here you, you have to publish. Uh, the model, so it will be accessible from an, uh, an API. So you click on publish, you give the name of uh, the model, we, we can leave the, the default name here, and then it is published. In order to call that API, you can you, you just have to use those uh, um, API uh, information here. So, so, so basically, if I want to call um, the API and, and with a, 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 a photo in the body, I just have to um, to, click, to copy and paste that image. So you you have to use a, a client to do an API call. So I'm I'm using Postman. There is a bunch of clients on the market. I'm going to just create a new request here. It's going to be so you have to select the method. Um, so the method is uh, they tell you um, uh, or actually it's not but you can do a get or you can do a post and then you can you copy and paste uh, the the URL here. Um, in the header uh, section, you have to specify uh, the, the token here. So this is a key, so you can call that API. So it's quite pretty standard in the API world. Um, and also you need to specify the, the type of content you're going to put in the body. So in, in our case, it will be uh, a picture, so it's going to be a, a, a binary uh, stream. So once I have done the header, I have to go to the body I have to select binary, and then I can select a file. So basically, I'm going to um, upload um, the same file as we have done 
so the DCF887, which is a test file. I just select that file, and now I click the button, I'm going to make the call. And this is calling the API on the back end um, and running the, 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 the prediction. And then you end up with the JSON. Um, and then you can see, OK, we have the 95% prediction here, uh, which is a DCF887. So that's it. So you have done it, right? And then you just have to, to do that call in your mobile application, and then you end up with what the students have, 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 have done for, for the internship program. So that's it. So you can see how easy it is to use uh, uh, the custom vision API and to build your own model. Obviously, after that, you can still, if you don't want to use the, the API, you can, you can export your model and you can deploy that model locally in your mobile application. So you, if you don't want to call an API, uh, it's up to you. Uh, but, but if you want to call the API, you see it, it's pretty straightforward, right? So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was uh, uh, interesting for you and useful, and maybe you, you're going to try yourself. It's very easy, as you can see. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.